Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know I'm not the most made up and I'm kind of dirty and gross, but I thought I would go ahead and start something on my channel called Mask Talk or Behind the Mask or something. I haven't really quite decided on what I want to call it, but basically the gist of it is I'm going to sit here and chat with you guys while I put on a face mask. And I just figured this would be a really good way to kind of unwind and open up and kind of just talk with you guys, let you know what's going on in my life um, and where I'm at, stuff like that. I don't know. It's just, just an idea that I had. I don't know how frequently I'll do these or what's going on, but yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead, put a face mask on, and then talk with you guys like I'm hanging out with my girlfriends or whatever. If you guys want to, you know, put a face mask on with me while you're watching this and we can chat or whatever. I mean, not really chat because you won't be talking back to me, but you get what I'm saying. Uh, the masks that I'm using today are two of my favorites. I've got this from Philosophy. It's the Purity Pore Extractor, which has become one of my newest favorite masks. Uh, I need to look into whether or not philosophy is cruelty free because if they are, I need to. I already bought some because um, I knew I would want it, but um, if they are, then I need, need to stock up on this one. And then this one is from Freeman. This is the Freeman um, Feeling Beautiful Apple Cider Vinegar 4 in 1 Foaming Clay. I love this. This is such a great multitasker. Um, you can use it as a mask, you can also use it as a scrub. Um, it says you can use it as a mask, scrub, cleanser, and toner, but really when you use it as a mask, it also doubles as a toner, but if you use it as a cleanser, it's exfoliating, so it's a scrub. I really like it. I'm very disappointed because Freeman started selling in China, and they are no longer cruelty-free, so I will not be repurchasing this one, but I, I love it. It's one of my favorite masks I've ever used from Freeman, um, and I would know because I'm quite the maskaholic. <laughs> anyway. Maybe that's what I'll call this, like Maskaholics Anonymous or something. Who knows? And then I'm not going to show you taking the masks off because I actually am putting this on right before I jump in the shower and I usually will take my masks off in the shower. But I got these from Ulta. They're their mask... what are they called? Mask removing cloths. They are the coolest little doodad. It's just this t capsule and you get it wet and it expands into a towel and you can use it to like wipe your mask off. So I thought that was cool. As someone who masks a lot, this is very helpful. And they were like four bucks, so you really can't beat that. My camera is going to die, so let's go ahead and just jump right on into this. I usually always start with my nose, and for my nose I'm definitely using the pore extractor, um, because my nose is where I get the worst blackheads. And I've been feeling my face today, because I work in a call center, so I touch my face a lot just out of boredom. I know you're not supposed to, but eh. Um, I pick up my face a lot, I guess is what I should be saying. And I was like, oh my gosh, I can just feel all of these blackheads, all of this dead skin. And I'm like, I need to do something about this. I'm putting on a mask and the viewfinder is hard. Alright, so I wanted to kind of chat with you guys and fill you in on some changes that I made to my personal life. Um, well, and... That kind of affect my channel too. I'm just coming closer so I can actually see what I'm doing in the viewfinder. Um, the first change that is coming is I have made the switch to become an official cruelty-free consumer. So I will be, if I have a product that is cruelty-free, I will continue to use it until it is gone or expired. Um, however, I will not be purchasing any more cruelty-free brands. And this was kind of a tough decision for me, but when I sat down and really thought about it, the majority of the products that I like are cruelty-free, and really the products that I love that aren't cruelty-free, I'm sure I can find an alternative for, and it'll take me a good while to use those up. So that is where I stand with that. I've decided to go cruelty free and I'm really excited for it. I think it's probably one of the best decisions that I could have made, you know, both for myself and for the planet and the animals and all that good stuff. Um, the second change that I'm making regarding my channel, I'm actually going to see how much far I can make this. This is a little sample that I got in my Sephora play box and I think it's like basically almost out. So 
we'll just go ahead. My face or my forehead gets a lot of blackheads too, and my whole face has been feeling kind of like it needs the exfoliating, and this is pretty exfoliating too. Um, ooh, I'm like super zoomed in. Sorry guys. The other change I'm making to my channel is I'm actually going to start having a set posting day um, eventually. My plan is to have one by March, but I recently took on a full-time job and I will be staying on at my um, retail job. I work at Bath and Body Works for those of you who don't know me and yes it is a super fun job and I love it but it's just this full-time job is a little bit better I feel like and so I don't know what my schedule is going to be like or what it's going to bring and then I'm going to take the Freeman mask and kind of just fill that in on the bottom of my cheeks here um but basically with my full-time job I'm gonna work Sunday through Thursdays and with my retail job at Bath and Body I'll work on the days Fridays and Saturdays when I'm off at my other job and so I don't know that that's gonna leave me a lot of days to film which is, you know, unfortunate, but it happens, and that's part of life. Um, so I don't know how frequently I'll be posting on here, to be completely honest. My plan is I'm off the majority of this week, and so my plan is to just sit down and film a bunch of videos, so that way I hopefully have enough content to sustain me for a little bit because I don't know what my schedule with Bath and Body Works is going to be. I don't know if I'm going to be working every Friday and Saturday or if I'll only be working maybe like Saturdays or just Fridays or, you know, I can't tell you what that's going to bring. And then I'm going to take what's left of this philosophy and I'm going to put it on my chin. So basically I'm taking the pore extractor on areas where I know I get a lot of blackheads, which is my nose, my chin, and then my forehead. Um... Oh, it's coming. So yeah, I don't know what's going to happen, and I'm a little disappointed in myself, but at the same time, you know, my channel is still fairly new, and once I get back into it and can start posting on a more consistent basis, then I can really start to focus on growing my channel. But right now, I have to work on being an adult, and focusing on that and financial like money and all of that fun grown-up stuff that nobody ever really wants to do you know I've completely used this up that is gonna go in my empty stash the other thing I'm going to start doing is an, an empties video I've got stuff that I've been collecting but I have to decide if I want to do them all if I want to just focus on my makeup and my skincare because I've got like a variety of things from deodorants to shampoos and stuff like that. So we'll see. I put this all applied. I'm going to let it kind of sit for a minute. But while I do that, I'll finish chatting with you guys and kind of filling you in. So I recently graduated from college. I don't have school to worry about. But I do have a show that I will be in. And my days are going to be pretty hectic. I don't know how frequently I'll be filming. And I don't know how frequently I'll be uploading. But I'm hoping to maintain... A steady presence on here even if I'm only posting once every other week I will be posting here as much as I can um, not as frequently as I would like but still pretty frequently if it'll allow it I also have decided that I'm just going to let everything go um, I'm a new channel and I'm a person <laughs> I'm a human <laughs> Like, I don't have to be perfect all of the time, and so you're going to see some really rough footage on here until I can get the hang of this whole editing thing, and, you know, my lighting isn't always going to be perfect, and my backdrop's probably going to be me sitting up against my bedroom wall until I can move, and then I don't know where I'm moving to. I, like, I might be moving in with roommates. I might be moving back in with my parents. Who knows? So, it's... A bunch of changes over these next couple months that are going to be coming but I promise you come like March or April I'm hoping to get back on my feet and ready to hit this channel with my feet running and or hit hit the ground running with my channel Sorry. 
So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. And I just realized that I haven't really had a chance to sit down with you guys and just talk. And you guys don't really have a chance to know me outside of my channel. So I feel like these would be a good thing for me to do, especially during these busy months, because I don't have to do makeup and look good to put on a beauty mask and the lighting is important, but it's not everything to these videos. And so if this is something that you would like to see from me, please go ahead and subscribe and hit the thumbs up button, comment below. I think that this is a really fun idea and I'm excited to see where these go. Um, yeah, that's about it for me. I just wanted to kind of fill you guys in and let you know that you might not be seeing as much from me in the future, at least for the moment. But yeah, oh, and that I'm cruelty free because that's kind of a big thing. The other thing I wanted to talk about too is I'm going on a low buy, not necessarily a no buy because I'm not that self-constrained, but basically I'm not going to be buying any makeup or beauty or anything unless it is absolutely necessary like a mascara like I'm out of mascara and eyeliner and I have to go buy a new one or my shampoo runs out and I need new shampoo that stuff I'll buy but I'm not just gonna buy a product to buy a product um, I really do need to start getting myself under control so you might not see me posting a lot about like the newest products or whatever but I think it's doable um, there's a channel that you guys should t totally check out. She doesn't know me and she uh, she likes to say on her channel she doesn't know about me. I actually don't know her name because I just started watching her videos but her channel name is Too Much Tash. I will go ahead and link her below so you guys can check her out. She just recently did a no buy where she spent one year and she didn't buy any makeup and she had a channel while she was on that one year of not buying any makeup and that is like super inspiring to me to see that there are people that have a beauty channel that didn't buy makeup. And it's so inspiring for me to see that that is totally possible. And I feel a lot more empowered and a lot more esteemed. So that's the other thing that's coming up is you probably won't see a lot of new releases. Um, I'm gonna work on perfecting my skills just a little bit so that way I can get comfortable with like doing tutorials since I won't be buying makeup. The other thing that I want to focus on too is Project Pan. So there's a lot of things that are going to be coming up on my channel. I just don't know how consistently it's going to happen. And I know that's not something you want to hear, but I promise if you stick around, I will be back. And I mean, we're already almost to the end of January. So like this two or three months where I'm trying to kind of get on my feet and get consistent will fly by like that, I promise. And then by the time that I can get on my feet and in a place where I feel comfortable to tell my other, you know, to tell my job, hey, like, it's been really good, but I think I need to step down to just as needed, which I honestly don't know that I ever will, to be honest. Like, I tell myself, oh yeah, I'm totally gonna step down and just do floor sets. But I don't think I will. Um, I love my store and I love the girls that I work with and I love the job and the products and so it's going to be hard for me but once I can get kind of in a routine and set it'll be really helpful. So I promise if I do disappear it won't be for long. Um, I'm going to go because my camera is about to die and this is starting to harden and so talking just kind of feels weird but yeah, if you guys like this, I, t I know I've said this before and I'm probably not going to edit this video. My plan was just to actually sit down, shoot, and then once I finish it, I'll go ahead and get on and just like, you know, cut the beginning where I'm fumbling with the camera and the end where I fumble with the camera, but just to upload the video because this doesn't feel like a video where I need to edit. Um, but yeah, if you like this type of video, go ahead and subscribe or not. It's an no big deal. <laughs> um, but definitely if you do subscribe, hit that notification bell. I also am on Facebook and Instagram, so I will link those all below. You can always follow me. It's at Bees Beauty Spot YT, like YouTube, um, for both Facebook and Instagram. So go ahead, stalk me on social media. But like I said, I'm going to go wash this off my face. It was fun chatting with you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.